this is what happens when you don't uh, upload for three weeks. You have to bring in the big guns or the hung guns for the freaking thumbnail, man. You know, John Wake it up. Hey, what's up, guys? Chris Cohn here, and yes, I'm back. As you can see, I have a bit of cloud strife here. This is what happens when you play FF7. It was one of those things that you were like, yeah, let's do that on Saturday night. I kind of like it, actually, and it would be sick if you guys head on Insta to see what I'm planning to do with it as, like, a super cool, like, visual effect kind of thing, and I would really freaking appreciate it, bros, if you hit a follow on Insta. With that said, today, uh, it was E3, like, two weeks ago or something, and there were quite a few cinematics, I would say, so I'm really pumped because today we're gonna check out Battlefield 2042 cinematic. Now, I'm actually a Battlefield fan, I've played quite a few of them, um, they're epic and the scale of them is insane. Uh, in terms of competitive online gaming, I'm more of like a Call of Duty guy, but I always appreciate like the total out like warfare that uh, Battlefield has and the Frostbite engine, man, is just sick. So with that said, Let's just fire up YouTube and get back to reacting to awesome stuff and then breaking them down with cool cinematic visuals and filmmaking techniques used. So with that said, ready guys? Full screen in one, two, three. Game engine footage, man, that's insane. The fact that we are like making cinematics within game engines, that is sick. Ooh. Oh, that's sick. Ooh. Oh, that was savage, man. Let's go. Oh, it's a wing shoot. You know what I always liked? Uh, Butterfield logo title. Glitch transition, sick. Is that a ship? Yeah. Ooh! Oh, sick. I love... Hmm. I guess this is more like showing all the maps and kind of like the gameplay. It looks insane though. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yeah, Good song. Man, they have everything. SpaceX. I love how they use the song. Ooh, that was sick, actually. That boom, 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 boom. No way. <laughs> that was sick. Top gun. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! That was sick. No. 
turn to two. Is that a hot tornado? Hurricanes hopping over the sea. You better run. Are you playing? Ooh, I know what this is. No. Are you playing while this is happening on the map? With... No way, man. First things first, like this awesome cinematic. Like this video as well, guys. Okay, that was sick. You know, it's really funny. Uh, I've actually been to the army because the country where I'm from, the army is actually mandatory for like about a year, which is quite uh, interesting. So uh, I've always been kind of a, like a fan, but Battlefield had always had this massive scale, man. And I think, I'm not sure from which game it was, like in, on certain maps, certain like nature events like a tsunami or something would occur or like the building falling so this one just takes those to a whole level because basically this cinematic was like the various maps and what goes on in all of those maps but like so freaking cool man i always loved the title design it almost reminds me you know like the terminator then wait now I'm confused with this one. You know what I mean though, like the Terminator thing, the, the thing. This almost feels like a play to that, so I was always a fan since they introduced that boom, 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 boom. I don't know, man. The smallest things make me um, really excited. And I always love the color scheme. They have this really cool, this is more aggressive. Usually they have it more on the blue side, but this is like a nice deep teal with that fiery orange. And it just looks mm, amazing. So that's it, guys. Let's fire back the cinematic, uh, go through it uh, a bit and just like focus on one or two cool things that happened because there was some, some really cool things. And my favorite by far was uh, near the end, that dogfight airplane thing. Oh man, that was sick. That was so good. Okay, so let's see. So we open up with a really like nice, really up high kind of like drone shot looking at the plane going down. Oh, actually, it's firing up its flares to, like, get the missile to miss, but nope. Oh, sick. I love this. And the sound design, man. It's very eerie, like... And I love how it connects. We follow the character. The next character is gonna come to the other, like, rule of thirds, but then... In the same shot, the connective action from the one before, which is basically the airplane, like semi-landing but falling, it's gonna carry through and it's gonna hit the guy. Ooh. And I love this kind of like first person thing. It's so visceral, it just gets you in the visual thing of the character. It's just amazing. Boom. Dice presents. Then we move to the next map. What is this like a futuristic New York? Because this kind of looks like Central Park almost. Does it? Yeah, I think this is like Central Park. Maybe or like a version of it, maybe. Who knows? Boom! Now we start with like gameplay stuff. The robot dog, of course. The music man it's, it pumps you up so much it makes such a big difference especially to things like this there is not like one connective um storytelling piece it's more like snippets across the game and the maps and like cool action stuff happening the song plays such an important role and always when the beat drops you should switch Bam! See? and i also love how they do the glitch effects and if you guys notice what's super interesting about how they do it is depending on the shot and what happens in the shot for example here you have the tank going like this so the glitch happens like this and i think after 
when the thing from the ship falls down, it's actually going to car to to a vertical glitch. And man, I have to say to the artists that create those game maps, man, they're just stunning. It's so epic. That one. See? Vertically. And I love the range also, like, it's just it's like... And if you notice, its map has its own, like, color scheme to it. This is very cold and, like, you know, creepy, almost. So we follow guys, I love the over-the-shoulder fall. So in this one, we're basically, like, one of the other dudes, one of the other privates, and then everyone gets, like, killed AF. It's almost like a first-person perspective, which makes sense, because the game is FPS as well. Ooh. I love this person, oh, like switching, seeing what the other guy says, switching back, and then this guy. Goes... Boom! I love this shot. But this shot is amazing. You know? This has been around for a few years now, but I would say T DJI with a new FPV drone made it a bit more accessible to people that don't want to do their own thing. So basically, FPV drones is like a first person view. You wear goggles and you fly the drone, right? But you can do insane things. First of all, they go fast, like really fast. And you can make them co and control them in such a way. So basically, this shot starts up high, shows you basically the cold iced map and then we swing so fast down to the ground to where the battlefield is basically and it just gives you such an insane perspective and i love this movie. boom and the song comes in boom. another map they just have everything man i like this one man. The metropolis and I like how the camera swivels along the helicopters. See this one. Woo! I love the color schemes. Like I said, every map is so distinct, and one of the reasons is this: is the color combination the artists use to uh, differentiate between the maps. segment ah, this is my favorite this feels like it needs to be on Top Gun with Tom Cruise or something like boom boom ah, that's so cool. overkill but amazing I love these very quick like pan moves and I love they do this with the helicopters as well they put almost like a GoPro perspective in one of the wings and it just makes it so sick, man. Cut the sound. Whoever thought of this, freaking genius. Team, person, I fucking love it. And then boom! And then you bring the sound like this. True to its name, Battlefield. Can, cannot take that away, mate. I love it, man. I love it all. You know what's funny? Uh, it's a gun game, so it would be a sin not to talk about muzzle flashes. Now, muzzle flashes are awesome in short films or films or a test, a VFX test or everything. And actually, to this day, the most famous video on the channel is about a muzzle flash VFX test, uh, which I love. And basically, uh, there is a tutorial if you guys want to do that thing. You know, you have like an airsoft gun and you want to like pop, pop, pop. Uh, there is uh, two extensive tutorials on how to pull them off on the channel as well. But basically, for a good muzzle flash, you need like two, three things. I mean, uh, are we gonna have a muzzle? Wait, I need a muzzle flash. Come on, come on. We'll find one, guys. Here, maybe?
Let's see. Frame by frame. Come on, mate. There. I mean, I want the perspective of the gun though, because these are like bullet trails mostly, I would say. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, come on, mate. Sorry. This is harder than I thought. Trying to find a freaking muzzle flash. Wow. That is excessive. Okay, anyways, uh, what I want, I'm just gonna put my example on screen. What I wanted to say is for a muzzle flash, you need uh, two, three things. Basically, one, the prop gun needs to look realistic. And if you have an airsoft gun, then when you pull the trigger, poof, the slide goes back, and that is half of the effect by itself because the eyes can pull it off. Then, when you put the muzzle flash, you need to uh, put glow effect on it as well as the effect of light on anything that that flare would affect. So if it's here, this light of uh, this side of the face should be illuminated and things like this. Anyways, guys, I'm kind of rambling on because cool stuff, guns and uh, muzzle flashes. But yeah, let's go. And just this one, man, I just like... And focus how they play a lot with sound. Basically, we don't hear any natural sounds, and, but very specific ones. You don't hear the car, you don't hear the rumble of the tornado. Boom! Boom! That's gonna be a blast to play, man. Like right now, my favorite thing, which is the title of Battlefield. Ah! I saw so sick, mate. Uh, what can I say? Amazing cinematic. I hope you guys are enjoyed to play it. If you are a Battlefield player, uh, that's sick. It's, uh, just make sure you have ray tracing on. You know? <laughs> uh, but no, man, that was sick. Uh, we haven't really done a lot of like military-based uh, kind of like cinematics on the channel, but I'm a big fan of them. So maybe we'll do one or two more next time. It's either Final Fantasy or League of Legends or Apex Legends or. Some other cool cinematics that came out during E3 or before that. You know how it goes, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see most. Let me know what you thought of Battlefield 2042. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode, which is coming within the week. Until then, stay awesome and creative.